Thanks for clicking on this video. This is a first impressions of this shoe here. This is the Ultra Via Olympus. It is a maximal road running shoe from Ultra. And as I'm filming this video, uh, it's the winter in the UK. And when I do my road running, it's normally in the morning before I start work. And that at the moment, this time of year, it's pitch black. So all I did was I took my little DJI mic with me and I recorded my thoughts of the first run in these shoes, the Ultra Via Olympus. Well, if it isn't strange enough running in the dark, here I am doing a shoe review in the dark. <laughs> so the Ultra Via Olympus is Ultra's first foray into a maximal road running shoe. You're thinking long distance running, marathon running, not necessarily for speed, but for comfort. I was a bit concerned when I first put the shoes on yesterday when they arrived from the postman that the actual stack underneath my foot was hurting a little bit. I thought, well, let's just give it a chance. I can feel it in there slightly, which is on the inside of my right foot. But I probably know that that's going to settle down as the shoe settles to my foot shape. I mean, they're not, they're not super bouncy. I'm not feeling like I'm being pulled along or pushed along, but I'm feeling supported. I'm feeling like these guys could look after me on a long road run, which is exactly why I bought them. About 15, 20 minutes into the run now, the shoes have settled down, my feet have settled down, and they do feel like it's a good match, which I'm really happy about, because we're always concerned, aren't we, as runners, that when we buy a pair of shoes, we spend a lot of money on them, they're not gonna be quite right. It is a bit of a faff to send them back. It was also a bit disappointing, isn't it? I've not used it, or I haven't changed the lacing, but I also have noted, and I appreciate Ultra adding a few more holes along the top of the shoe for alternative ways of lacing your shoes up. So you can make them a little bit wider across the midfoot. That is an excellent addition to any shoe, I think. If you're doing a long run and you think your feet are gonna swell up, which they will, there is that option of changing the lacing system changing the lacing layout if you like to incorporate that you don't feel like you've got that restriction along the top of your shoe which bug, bugs a lot of us right quick shout out to td miller who is a self-confessed ultra fanboy and he is the person on youtube that first got me interested in these ultra v olympus shoes when he had some photographs of them and he did it like a little first impressions video i commented at the time that they probably were the shoe that i should consider and here i am td having bought them after your video so thank you very much for that mate the ultra v olympus does exactly what i expected them to do they're not going to make me faster they're not going to get me a PB. They're going to keep my foot and my feet cushioned and comfortable in long runs on tarmac while I'm not running on the trails. If you enjoy this video, what well, kind of audio, please leave me a like, a thumbs up, and let me know in the comments below if you wear ultra shoes. Thanks for watching and listening, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Am I going down here? Yes, I am. Oh, I just splashed myself. I just splashed with new shoes. No.